In this week's video, we're going to be taking a look at a really rare 156 locomotive engine, as well as some passenger cars. But first things first, the unboxing. I'm just going to pull all of these out and put them on the table, because it's full of packing peanuts and they're going to make a mess if I don't. All the cars and engine I'm going to be showing off in this video are from the New York Central Lines by Lionel. Up first, we're going to be taking a look at the number 610 Pullman car. This is the first of two. Here you can see the screw on the top, and unfortunately it's in pretty rough shape since you have to use pliers to get it off. I'll show off the inside later on in the video. Here we have a nice 360 close-up of the passenger car. And as you can see, the paint's quite chipped up on this. I really bought this set for the locomotive itself, which you'll see shortly. Up next, we'll be taking a look at the second 610 Pullman passenger car. Here's the bottom. Wheels themselves are in great condition. Here you can see the corner of the passenger car is quite bent. Thankfully it was an easy fix. Up next we'll be taking a look at the number 612 observation car. Just like the other ones in the set, the paint's quite chipped up, but as you'll see shortly, that locomotive is really the jewel of this set. And as promised, I'll pull off the top of the last car to show off the inside. And now for the moment you've all been waiting for, the number 156 locomotive engine itself. This engine is quite unique and special in its own right, as it's one of very few locomotives that they ever made with an extra set of wheels for the front and back. The extra set of wheels was there to support the extra weight of the engine. The engine was repainted back to its original color and fully restored, and man oh man is it a beauty. Here's a close up of how that extra set of wheels locks into the frame itself. And here's a nice close up at the bottom of the locomotive so you can see how this all comes together. As you can see, one of the power pickups is missing from the bottom. It did impact performance a little bit, as you'll see once we get this thing up and running. Now let's get this thing put on the tracks. Please drop a like and subscribe as it really helps the video reach more people. And with that said, here are some awesome clips of this rare pre-war tin train running. 